having the approval to go with maximum carbon neutral was a dream. So when we got the approval, oh, I think I cried. I don't remember, but I was so happy. It was the proudest moment in my civil servant life. Arthur Meekin Building is located at 2555 St. Clair Avenue East in Toronto, Ontario. As a project manager, I was just asked to start with a feasibility study in 2015 uh, when we were looking at a major renovation of the project. That was pretty much what we were tasked to do, understand what's the condition of Arthur Meegan building. A change in direction came through. I was so excited when I heard that. That was an opportunity for us to actually look at something better. Canadian Green Building Council was brought to the table by the headquarters team by asking us if we're interested to actually be one of the pilots buildings that are participating in the zero carbon pilot program. Midway through the first design of the project, uh, we were told to stop what we were doing and revisit a new design and to ensure that we are pushing the boundaries and going carbon neutral. We knew we could do it, we just didn't know how. And that was part of the challenge is there was no previous template, uh, there was no previous direction on how to do this. We had, as a team, had to create the path forward. We defined carbon neutral as being Firstly, energy efficient as possible. And secondly, using and creating energy in the building. So utilizing solar panels on the roof, using a geothermal system uh, to heat and cool the building. I think it's uh, extremely important for us, uh, PSPC, uh, to lead the federal government in, uh, in, in building design of this type. The design itself is going to take the current building and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, carbon emissions, by more than 80%. So just that uh, fact itself will be able to identify to you know, current employees or new employees that you know, by working in this environment, they are contributing to a much uh, healthier environment, both within the office and you know, within the city itself. The maximum site carbon neutral option also included wellness features, ensuring that there was access to daylight and views in the stairways uh, and making sure that each floor was connected inside and outside. So as you're walking up the stairs, you can look outside the entire way from the bottom floor to the top floor. The wall certification uh, is an enhancement to a normal building design. It looks at the occupant's health. Uh, it takes into account water, light, the occupants' health themselves, uh, energy use. It's a holistic design approach that uh, incorporates everybody. Accessibility was always something that um, PSPC and Government of Canada was looking at. Every single ramp, every single space, every single seating area or collaboration area will be accessible for everyone. Canadian National Institute for the Blind have a great pilot happening at Young and Sinclair. Uh, what they're doing is uh, they are collaborating with all the businesses in the area by introducing these beacons that are small devices that will be introduced inside of the buildings or outside of the buildings. Um, those beacons will be able to communicate to a smart device that the people will carry with them and will be able to read to them what's happening in that area. We were supported by our senior management to look outside the box and explore. The only way we're gonna you know, make a change is if we take action and create a true flagship for Canadians and provide a new way of renovations for buildings.